port is in our computer this is the back end uh, picture of the back end of, of our pc and this is the uh, parallel port and i think you will have the appropriate cable to connect to this parallel port and get the pins out from the computer casing uh, so this is the parallel port i will give you a simple idea about the parallel port uh, from there because we have already give the uh, main ideas about the parallel port there are three types of uh, data ports and uh, ports in the parallel port uh, one is data port status port and control port the the, the data ports are used to uh, give some output from the computer to the outer world and the status port are used to uh, give input to the uh, mm, computer and the control port are used to control the ports and these ground pins are used to uh, give the uh, zero uh, current to the uh, output and uh, as you can see uh, the data ports are begin from uh, the second pin to the nine pin and this pin give a 5 volt output as the user give whatever they can do and uh, uh, this is start from uh, 278 h it means the hexadecimals to the 378 hexadecimal uh, if and these are the things that will uh, do from the port pins in the uh, parallel port there are 25 pin in a parallel port and first one is used to stop and these uh, uh, next 8 pin are used to use the data pins these are the things that we are going to use in our uh, this part uh, programming part to give a uh, output from this uh, each and every uh, data pin we can get uh, 5 volt out to the real world so we can uh, flash a LED or you can do anything as you like and uh, the 18 to the 25 pins are ground pin so we can use any of the uh, tw uh, these pins or all the pins it's not uh, worried about the pins just use one pin or the all the pins from the there uh, and there are three types of uh, pins in registers in uh, parallel port the data register the status register and the control register the re the data registers address will be ox378 uh, this is a hexadecimal address and this is the uh, status register address and the control register address if you don't know the data register address you just simply go to the control panel and go to the hardware and sound um, and uh, use uh, the device manager uh, this is uh, I'm using Windows 7 at this moment now so you, if you go to the uh, device manager in any uh, Windows format OS you can find the device manager and go to that part and you will see the data ports or the ports common LPT the LPT mean the parallel port that we are going to use uh, you can see there are three po uh, ports in my uh, program machine and we need this printer port this is uh, also known as the parallel port and uh, right click on it and go to the properties and you can see this is the uh, information about this and go to the uh, resource part and you can see here the settings of the uh, parallel ports um, position this is the position that we need to use in our programming the to access the data port data registers the, the data registers are started from 378 if we use this 378 we can use uh, access the data port and uh, I say that there are uh, 8 pins so you have to use uh, 8 bit uh, from there 